Welcome fellow travelers. Today we're going to learn more about the oceans off the Pacific coast at the Center for the Salish Sea. Let's go and explore. Stand clear of the doors. Doors closing. The Shaw Center for the Salish Sea opened in 2009, and that same year it was recognized by Ware Magazine as one of Canada's top 10 new attractions. The center is a not-for-profit aquarium and cultural learning center that focuses on the ecosystems of the Salish Sea, which is the body of water that rests between Vancouver Island, the mainland of British Columbia, and Washington State. The Salish Sea is made up of the Strait of Georgia, the Strait of Juan de Fuca, Puget Sound, and a number of adjoining waterways. Inside the museum is the Gallery of Drifters, which shows the many species of jellyfish, plankton, and algae that form the foundation of the food chain in the Salish Sea. Moon jellies can be recognized by the pattern of four circles seen on top of their bell. They feed on plankton and mollusks with its tentacles, bringing them back to the body for digestion but they're only capable of limited motion, so they spend their days drifting with the currents, even while they're swimming. Here, there's a sea cucumber with an enemy and a sea star. Sea stars, relaxing in the sea. The Gallery of the Salish Sea showcases some of the hundreds of fish species and invertebrates that call the sea home. This includes the giant Pacific octopus, wolf eels, rock greenlings, painted greenlings, Pacific herring, Chinook salmon, and king crab. Here's a pretty little sculpin resting on the bottom. Oh, let's see. Let's see if he moves. You can see him hopping along the bottom using his fins like feet. If you want to play I Spy, there's a couple other sculpins or fish hiding away inside these giant barnacles. A little hermit crab up on this rock wall. My favorite are the wolf eels, even though they aren't actually true eels. These animals can grow to a length of almost eight feet long and can weigh over 40 pounds. Wow, cool. Look at that. Whoa. Now these guys look so ugly and they've got so many teeth, but they're actually very playful. When I was diving in the water, these guys are like, puppy dogs. They'll come right up to you and they'll want to get petted. You can pet them or scratch their chin. When they're young, wolf eels start out orange with big dark spots, but when they get older they turn to a gray or brownish gray color and can live up to 25 years. These tube snout fish. You can see where they get their name. Oh. 
Children love the touch pools, which contain sea urchins and sea stars. But unfortunately, they're closed because hand sanitizer can cause damage to the animals. Some beautiful sea stars. And these giant windows look out into the islands of the actual Salish Sea. Hanging up above, this skeleton of an orca. This gray whale skull is about five feet long. You might think that's large, but that's actually the size of a seven-month-old whale. Adults can get much bigger. Skeleton of a California sea lion. Look at this driftwood wolf. And right outside the center, you can enjoy the Sydney Seaside Sculpture Walk, which is a collection of public art located along the waterfront between Beacon Park and Talista Park. Here's a piece from David Hunwick called Eye of the Ocean. Here we see the shape of two blue whale rib bones, which connect to form an eye looking out over the Salish Sea. And also just outside the center is this piece from Fred Dobbs called Ocean in Motion which depicts the balance and relationships between the living things that live in harmony in the underwater habitat. Thanks for coming along for our tour of the Salish Sea. Hope to see you again on our next adventure. Until next time, it's time to exit through the gift shop.